Hi there, did I here? Just uh, wanted to let you know that we've got this little uh, mobile office up for sale and um, want to give you a bit of a you know rundown about the whole whole thing. I know it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? This Rubik's Cube it looks like a Rubik's Cube because uh, you know Rubik's is a smart guy and uh, you know that's why he kind of painted it that way to make it look smart. But I don't know if we are or not, but we got lots of questions about it. Every, everywhere we went, people were asking, What's this? What do you do? and whatever. All. So it's good marketing. Um, but anyway, um, there it is. So it's a six foot by eight foot wide um, mobile office. And we work online. We're always on the go. We're always traveling. And for us, it was a total pain in the took us to uh, get into a hotel, move your laptops and your computers, and then move in, move out, move in, move out. We go home, and you've got the home office, and you know, a lot of stuff happening at home, so you just need your own space. So we figured, let's just make a, make a home office that's also mobile, about the size of an office cubicle, but there's two of us working, so we needed sort of enough room for two of us, and it's about the same size of a, as a really nice office cubicle. Perfect for somebody like, uh, you know, uh, we work online, but if you're a photographer or a contractor or, you know, an architect or sales or whatever all, um, if you work at home, work on the road, this is perfect. So let me just give you a quick kind of walk around here. Um, it's six feet by eight feet, um, built, you know, like a Rubik's Cube. Everything is sealed, um, properly caulked. Um, I don't know how many coats of paint it has on it probably six at least. All the seals are joined because one of the things about trailers is leaks. Leaks are an absolute nightmare. The roof, I'll just tell you, but I won't show you. And if you buy it, you can see it. It's got about four, maybe five coats of tar on it. Tar is your best friend if somebody else does it because it doesn't leak. So it's got tar on the roof, no leaks. We didn't want maintenance, we didn't want leaks. So everything is all sealed up. It's uh, eight feet long. Um, as you can see, there are brand new tires. Uh, there's a brand new, um, actually it's just tires with wheels, everything has been greased. There's uh, brand new uh, springs that we also installed. It's a, uh, it's based on a converted boat trailer. Everything has been replaced on the trailer. All the lighting is brand new. All the wiring is brand new, brand new LED. Now what you see here is a bit of a box. Um, we wanted this thing to be completely off-grid because we wanted to make sure that no matter where we are, we got power, we got juice to run a whole pile of computers, and you'll see it inside. This box houses the uh, the batteries on the inside, and uh, well, you'll see the even lighting outside. We have front and light, uh, front and back lighting. Um, the tongue is another six feet long. Everything is brand new. The jack stand. Um, this hitch thingy, whatever you call it, it's also brand new. So, um, it's all, everything's been sort of like totally redone. From the ground up, we have shore power, as you know, people call it an RV world, so you can be completely off the grid, or you can uh, just plug into your house, plug in absolutely anywhere. Um, here you see, these are actually steps, because you can step on the, on the, on the, uh, on the trailer um, tongue, you can step right there, step up there, boom, 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 you're right on the roof and you can move the uh, solar panels up and down. So here you can see the wiring, everything, all the wiring runs in and it comes all the way down and runs inside underneath. The thing is leak proof because that was one of the big issues for us is, um, you know, we needed four season the capabilities fully insulated, leak proof, and fun. And uh, so, there you have it. That's basically the uh, exterior feature. Now, we didn't build it to sell it. We're selling it because now most of our traveling is pretty well by airplane. And uh, this is not sort of like a carry on or check in item. So, we got to kind of like part with it now. So, um, hopefully, um, you know, might work to make somebody else, uh, you know, really happy too. So anyway, so I'm going to take you inside now. So I'm going to let you see what it looks like. And I think you might like it.
Okay guys, one of the other features that is really important when it comes to, to this kind of stuff, which we found out the hard way, it's insulation and ventilation. You do not want condensation in any season, winter, summer, like no matter what, you gotta have vents and doors. On the roof, there's a roof vent, just like in a, uh, you know, an RV. On the door, there are roof vents, several of them, so I'll show you how that works. Everything is latched up, nice and tight. One, two, three, lockable. All the lights are LED. You get a nice little step here. So let me take you inside. There you go. <laughs> now, this is not a commercial product, obviously. We built it for ourselves. And uh, so we went the extra mile like you usually do. So, now, what you've noticed in the walk around is that there's no eccentric cord anywhere, right? Because in the middle of the parking lot. So anyway, let's just do a quick walk around so you can check to see, make sure there's no power connected. Let's look at the ground. You can see it's a continuous run of continuous loop of film. See, nothing is not connected to the vehicle. See, this is the shore power connection. Nothing's connected. No power, no nothing, no connections. So now let me see what happens here. I'll show you that door in a minute. See? Okay, not right now, no lights, right? You see that? Now I'm gonna get on my knees, I'm gonna flick a switch, and you're gonna see the power. There we go. Now, lights here. Let me turn on the light. You see, now we got all kinds of light. Now I'm gonna turn on My computer screen. So, as you can see, we've got two screens going here. So while that stuff is booting up, let me give you the rundown here. Hang on, let me see. I'm just powering up. It takes a it takes a minute to power everything up. Lights everywhere. Doink. We're on battery power. We have three, um, three uh, solar panels on top, and believe it or not, we're running off one car battery, which pretty well does the job that you know that we do, which is run you know all this kind of stuff on a sunny day. Um, you could, depending on your need, you could add another couple of solar panel. Actually, no, you don't need solar panels because we have three, a couple of batteries junkyard um, or uh, solar stuff you know whatever all now there's another computer here too so you'll be able to see there's another computer because we actually can work over here do some work here spin around and then work at our main stations now let me t okay so let me uh, let's, what else is there okay full storage Everything locks up here so that if you're traveling, when you're pulling it, the whole idea behind this is you hook it up and you go. In your driveway, in a parking lot, at a hotel. So even if you check into the hotel, you don't have to unload your stuff. Your office is always wherever you are. You're not packing and unpacking and all kinds of stuff. We've got storage. Tons of storage here. It latches for travel. There's a little latch here that hooks in up here when you uh, you know you want to spend some time in the cupboard there the ceiling I'm six feet tall there's a vent here you turn this it just pops out um, or you cover it you know if you want it closed I'm six feet tall and I can stand up in the middle I whack my head over here so that I remind myself only stand up in the middle but most of the time I spend like kind of sitting down so Oh yeah, everything is insulated. All the walls are fully insulated. The floor is insulated. The ceiling is insulated. When we were here in the winter, we a little micro heater basically keeps us, you know, happy and toasty, even in like minus whatever temperature you can get in anywhere in Canada. And we're up in Perry Sound a lot, or out west, or Alaska, or wherever you are. Um, now, mind you, you can't, you cannot run a microheater off 
the batteries because you'll give you like you know like 10 minutes of heat or an hour if you're lucky so you got to be plugged in for that for that we use a, a portable um, kerosene heater which you know five minutes an hour but basically aside from minus like crazy temperatures you're good to go the ceiling has fabric because it, it also deadens the sound we do uh, computer work we do some recording sometimes some filming and uh, we, you know we want it to feel like we're kind of like at home and at the office at the same time the floor is vinyl it's glued down so if the weather is crappy you don't have to worry you come in here with your shoes or your boots or whatever drag the mud in who cares and you, you know you can get rid of it this workstation here is removable so you can you know you can have we do a lot of um, um, this has got more juice for us because this station we use for uh, you know that for stuff that requires more heavy-duty computer horsepower and stuff editing and uh, you know for filming and that kind of stuff right but it can be removed um, we got um, oh yeah we got you know more lighting here if you want um, let's turn off the other light here there we go put on some mood lighting you can put some babies in there if you like you know sometimes you need some extra babies we have um, extra an extra vent because when you're in a warmer climate you know or it's a summer day you want to have this open and if you're in the winter if it's cooler weather you need vents so you open up the roof vent and you just open up this little guy even in, in the dead of winter you need you need to have um, uh, circulation to prevent the condensation from leaving obviously of course there's a big window there some code hooks from you know where you can hand anywhere from swing 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 suits swimsuits to um, parkas or whatever all and uh, let me see what else I can what else can I tell you about the place it's uh, it's cozy we want to to feel like we are in some really cool place working you know focusing trying to get our stuff done and not moving our computers around so it's perfect for one person um, you know great for two let me open this up for you so you can get a closer look at it there you go a um, lot of storage and, and whatever so you know <laughs> well that's a bevy glass sorry I forgot to take it out <laughs> That's the cup I should have showed you. Not the other one, not the other one. <laughs> but that's the reality of it all. So there you go. Now underneath there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, let me see if I can get, get a better shot for you there. It's covered up there. Move the chairs out of the way. There's a light down there too. Um, I'm just gonna pull the string so you can see it. I'll just lift it up for you. That's where the battery is. You know, you know, running one battery you get a light there you can uh, basically depending on your power needs you can add you know more batteries three four five six batteries whatever you know like whatever you're doing um, you can buy a brand new deep cycle battery or just buy some a junkyard you know a battery for 30 bucks that came out of a transport truck and uh, it'll do just fine there are outlets there's a power outlet here, there's one on each side, there's one at the rear um, for this workstation as well. There's one underneath which you just saw. Um, we have inside and outside lighting, front and back, so you have exterior lights. As I said, this whole station is removable. The chair I'm sitting on here, let me just kind of scoot back here. Oh, hang on, I gotta get turn off the camera. I mean the light down here. There you go. Pop back into my chair. Um, so we've got, uh, yeah, lots of power. Well, the chairs. Yeah, the chairs come with it. Basically everything you see comes with it, except the computers. Because like, we kinda like need those. Um, you get the lamps because they they work really well so we figured you know might as well include the lamps you know the car battery um, <coughs> the chairs of course now the chairs are not new the chairs are pretty uh, well they're not old 
but if, if you've ever spent any time in an office or sitting in a chair for a long time, you'll know that uh, comfortable chairs are very important and these guys are very, 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 very comfortable. So, um, I know, I can't, uh, I can't think of anything else to tell you really that I may have missed, so if, I'm just going to have to come and have a look. But well, basically, you can hook it up and drive away. Any car can pull this sucker. It's small. It's light, it's compact, um, you know, basically any size car. I mean, that's sort of the, the bottom line. I mean, unless you put a couple of elephants in the back here, and, you know, if you just use it as an office. Um, oh, another cool thing about it is, which we only did a few times, but um, it actually worked out pretty good, is that you can actually sleep in here too if you want, <laughs> which is <laughs> kind of cool because there's a lot of space. You can throw down something, a ma air mattress, which is what we did. Um, we were hooked into shore power because you can be off the grid using solar and battery or you can plug in with an extension cord anywhere. Um, we put a kettle there and a little stove and we went visited some friends and stuff and uh, we were able to sleep in here. Um, we actually did that in uh, January once too and there was a lot of snow. So it worked out pretty good. Um, other than that, um, I don't know, can't think of anything else if you really uh, want to know more. Give me a call, let me know, come by, take a look, and uh, I'll show you the ins and outs. And um, that's it. So thank you for uh, watching and taking the time to uh, put up with my 90 mile an hour talking. But uh, that's it. Oh, oh, one more thing before you go. I forgot. See these little hooks here? I got a bunch of hooks here, 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 you know, all over the place. You put a bungee, doink, doink. Wrap the chair, you push the chair underneath, you you close the laptop, you can put a piece of Velcro on the bottom, or, you know, whatever. Basically, you can be on the move in, like, boom, no time. Um, it's got a, a new electrical system for the lighting, plugs into the hitch, and it's, uh, I have to check, I think it's a one-inch ball. Anyway, for a small car, so um, a small uh, hitch ball. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for uh, sticking by and sticking along or whatever you say, uh, you know, sticking it out. That's the one. I wasn't born here, but, you know, I learned fast. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So, I'm going to say goodbye from my New York office. Bet you don't know where I am, do you? Well, I'll tell you where I am right now. Right now I am in... Uh, no, I won't tell you where I am. You're going to have to guess because I could be anywhere. I could be, I could be anywhere. And so could you. So, thanks again. We'll see you.